Good morning dear children. Welcome to the maths class of standard 4. Today we are going to start our new chapter, chapter 9, fractions 2. In this chapter, we will study for finding fractions of a number, then problems based on finding fractions, proper, improper and mixed fractions, then converting improper to mixed fractions and vice versa. That is, in converting improper to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to improper fraction. These all topics we will study in this chapter. So, first we are moving to the concept finding fractions of a number. Okay. So, before starting this topic, we will uh, think about a situation here. It is given, Jesseline's father told her that he spends two-thirds of his salary per month and saves the rest. Jesseline calculated the amount her father saves from his salary of Rs. 25,000 per month. How do you think Jesseline could calculate her father's savings per month? Here, the salary, savings of, from the salary is uh, have to find out by using a fraction, isn't it? She just know about that two-thirds of the salary is saving, isn't it? So, two-third of 25,000. Here, uh, she has to find out two-thirds of 25,000. What is two-thirds of 25,000? Okay, that is fraction of a number she have to find out. Right, so... This one, this topic, this one we are going to study in this session. Okay, how to find out fraction of a number. Fraction of a number. Okay, so let's check. In our previous years, in your standard 3, we already learned to find out the fraction of a collection. Isn't it children? Okay, so let's check how is that. Uh, one example question. A half of a dozen bananas. Children, tell me what is 1 dozen? Yes, 1 dozen is equal to 12, isn't it? So, half of a dozen. Half means how we can write half in fraction? 1 upon 2, isn't it? 1 upon 2 is the half of half, isn't it? Okay, then half of a dozen bananas means half of 12 bananas. Can you see children how we can write half of 12 bananas? Yes, that is half of. I am writing here 1 by 2 into half of how many bananas? 12, that is 1 by 2 into 12. Okay, and you know how to multiply this one, isn't it? Multiply numerator with numerator and de denominator with denominator. Here 1 by 2 into 12. So, you can answer it like this. That is 1 into 12. 1 into 12 is 12. Right? Then 2 is in the denominator and 2 into 1. Here we can understand the denominator of the number 12 is 1. Because if a number is given and there is no denominator is uh, shown on there, then the meaning is the denominator is 1. So, you can multiply 2 with 1. 2 into 1 is 2. Okay. So, 12 by 2. Got it? So, 12 by 2 means you divide 12 by 2. Uh, say the table of 2 up to 12. How many times 2s are 12? Yes, 6 2s are 12. So, you got the answer 6. Clear children? What is the answer? It is 6. Okay, half of a dozen bananas is equal to 6. That you can write here. Okay, so answer is 6. Now, look at the second question. A quarter of, a quarter of 16 books. A quarter of 16 books. What is a quarter children? Quarter means 1 upon 4. What is 1 upon 4? That you can write like this. 1 by 4. Isn't it? Now, quarter of 16 books. Okay. So, here of shows multiplication. Okay. In fraction, the of, of shows multiplication. 
So, quarter of 16 means 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 16. Quarter of 16 that is 1 by 4 into 16. Now, how we can uh, simplify this one? Yes, multiply the numerator with numerator. So, multiply 1 with 16. What is the answer? 16. Then what is in the denominator? It's 4. Okay. Now you have to do a 16 by 4. That is you divide 16 by 4. Okay. So you see the table of 4 children. How many times it is 16? Yes. 4 times. Isn't it? 4 4s are 16. So when you are dividing 16 by 4, you will get the answer 4. So a quarter of 16 books is equal to 4. Okay. Now the next question. A third of nine balloons. Balloons. A third of nine balloons. A third. How to write that in fraction? Yeah, yes. A third means one by three or one upon three. Right? A third of nine balloons. So into nine you have to do. Okay, this is the way to find out. And now, now you know uh, multiply numerator into numerator and denominator into denominator. So, 1 into 9 is 9. Then write 3 down here. Now, you can divide 9 by 3. Here 9 is the dividend and 3 is the divisor. So, 9 divided by 3. Tell me children, how many times 3 in 9? Yes, 3 threes are 9, isn't it? So, what is the answer children? 3 is the answer, isn't it? So, you can write here 3. So, this is the way to answer. Now, we are moving to the next one. That is a half of 20 apples. A half of 20 apples. How we can find out the half of 20 apples? We know half is 1 by 2, isn't it? So, 1 by 2 of 20 apples. Of means multiplication into 20. Okay. Clear? Now, you can simplify. 1 into 20 is 20. And what is the denominator? In denominator, it is 1. So, 2 into 1, 2. So, you can write 2 here. Now, 20 by 2. 20 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor. You divide it. What, the, what is the answer you will get? Yeah, that is 10. 10 twos are 20, isn't it? So, 10 is the answer. Clear children? Okay. So, you can write here 20. So, the answer is 10. A half of 20 apples is equal to 10 apples. Now, next is a quarter of 8 pencils. How we can answer? A quarter is 1 by 4, 1 by 4 of 8. That is 1 into 4 and by, yes, 1 into 8 divided by 4, isn't it? So, 8 by 4, what is the answer? Yes, 2. So, 2 pencils are the uh, quarter of 8 pencils. Okay, children? Quarter of 8 pencils. Right? Okay. Children, now we are moving to some more questions. And now we learn how to find the fraction of a number. Isn't it? To find the fraction of a number, we multiply the number by the fraction. To find the fraction of a number, we multiply the number by the fraction. Okay? So, let us now learn to find the fraction of a number. So, here is a question. Suppose there are 20 shells in a bowl. There are 20 shells in a bowl. Vani wants to take 1 by 5 of them. So, she divides the shells into 5. The number in the denominator that is 5 equal groups and takes 1 group. Uh, one group. This gives 5 groups with 4 shells in each group. So, 1 by 5 of 20 is 4. 
one is sister rani wants to take 3 by 10 of the shell so she divides the shells into 10 and takes three groups of them this gives two shells in each group hence rani takes six shells therefore 3 by 10 of 20 is 6 so children here we are going to discuss that how to find out the fraction of a number but uh, in the previous questions we learned with half uh, one third one fourth this is so simple fractions we took for the calculations but here it is 3 by 10 of the 20 shells how we can find out 3 by 10 of 20 the same way how we uh, find already find out the uh, number of uh, number of apples and number of pencils the same way you have to do here also so i will tell you here 3 by 10 of 20 how to find out 3 by 10 of 20 okay look 3 by 10 of 20 is 3 we know 3 by 10 of of means into into 20 in the previous questions the numerator of the fraction was 1 that's why we multiplied that fraction uh, that 1 with the uh, next number and we divided with the denominator isn't it but here it is 3 so you have to do the multiplication and then do the division okay so 3 into 20 first you have to find out and then that answer you divide by 10 got it children so 3 to the 6 isn't it that is 60 3 into 20 is 60 so 60 by 10 okay 60 by 10 will be there then uh, when you are dividing 60 by 10 you will get the answer 6 that is given children now some more example questions are here which is based on this topic okay that is find the following 2 by 5 of a meter 2 by 5 of a meter here the number is not given the fraction is given but the number is not given isn't it so we know what is 1 meter in centimeter 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter isn't it children yes so you can multiply 2 by 5 with 100 okay when you will simplify that you will get the final answer So two by five of a meter is equal to two by five into one meter is equal to two by five into hundred centimeter. That is multiply two with hundred and then divide it by five. Okay. So two with hundred is two hundred. Two hundred by five. When you are dividing two hundred by five, you will get the quotient as forty. So forty centimeter is the two fifth of one meter. Okay, okay. So forty centimeter is the answer. The same way. Next question: one by ten of a kilogram in gram. One by ten of a kilogram in gram. So we know one kilogram is equal to how much gram? Yes, thousand gram. One kilogram is equal to thousand gram. So one by ten into thousand gram. Okay. So one by ten into thousand gram. Then you can multiply one with thousand and then divide it by ten. Okay. So thousand by ten. When you are dividing, you will get the quotient as hundred. So hundred gram is the answer for this question. Now the next one. Find the following. Two third of an hour. Two third of an hour in minutes. Children, we know one hour is equal to How many minutes? Yes, sixty minutes, isn't it? Sixty minutes is equal to one hour. So you can multiply two third with sixty, right? So you can write like this: two by three of an hour is equal to two by three into one hour, which is equal to two by three into sixty minutes. Now multiply two with sixty. Two sixty two into sixty is one twenty divided by three. Okay, then one twenty divided by three. When you will divide one twenty by three, you will get the answer forty. Okay, so forty minutes is the answer. Now the next one, one four of a day. 
one four that is one upon four of a day in hours so you know one day is equal to 24 hours one day is equal to 24 hours isn't it yes so one by four into 20 you can write then one 24 you can write sorry 24 you can write that is 1 into 24 divided by 4 that is 1 into 24 is 24 24 divided by 4 that is 24 you divide by 4 that is 6 fours are 24 isn't it so you will get the question 6 so 6 is the answer for this question clear children okay so this is the way to find out the fraction of a number fraction of a number it's very simple you just multiply the fraction with the number to get the fraction of a number okay this is the topic we will learn today i hope it's all clear for you everyone go through this very well and study it well okay children so see you in the next class thank you